This LOS is explain the implications of each form of market efficiency for fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and the choice between active and passive portfolio management. Implications of the efficient market hypothesis. So I just want to quickly look at fundamental analysis so that uh, people understand exactly what fundamental analysis is. Fundamental analysis is the examination of publicly available information and the formulation of forecasts to estimate the intrinsic value of assets. Fundamental analysis involves the estimation of an asset's value using company data, such as earnings and sales forecasts, and risk estimates, as well as industry and economic data, such as economic growth, inflation, and interest rates. Buy and sell decisions depend on whether the current market price is less than or greater than the estimated intrinsic value. Okay? So the semi-strong form of market efficiency says that all available public information is reflected in current prices. So what good is fundamental analysis? Well, fundamental analysis is necessary in a well-functioning market because this analysis helps the market participants understand the value implications of information. In other words, fundamental analysis facilitates a semi-strong efficient market by disseminating value-relevant information. Now we'll take a minute to look at technical analysis, although there was a uh, uh, reading on this back in the quant section. Uh, nevertheless, uh, investors using technical analysis attempt to profit by looking at patterns of prices and trading volume. Although some price patterns persist, exploiting these patterns may be too costly and hence would not produce abnormal returns. So consider a situation in which a pattern of prices exists. With so many investors examining prices, this pattern will be detected. If profitable, exploiting this pattern will eventually affect prices such that the pattern will no longer exist, it will be arbitraged away. In other words, by detecting and exploiting patterns in prices, technical analysts assist markets in maintaining weak form efficiency. Does this mean that technical analyst, analysts cannot earn abnormal profits? Not necessarily, because there may be a possibility of earning abnormal profits from a pricing inefficiency. But it would be possible. But would it be possible to earn abnormal returns on a consistent basis from exploiting such a pattern? No, because the actions of the market participants will arbitra arbitrage this opportunity quickly, and the efficiency will no longer exist. Now we'll look at portfolio management. Uh, if markets are weak form efficient, technical analysis is useless. So we've seen a little bit about that on the previous slide. If markets are semi-strong form efficient, both fundamental and technical analysis are useless. Again, that's why I want to take a little bit of time to go through the fundamental and technical analysis on the previous slides. So evidence supports both weak form and semi-strong form efficiency. Markets are not strong form efficient, and that's impossible because it includes private information. Continuing with the implications of EMH on uh, portfolio management, if security markets are weak form and semi-strong form efficient, the implication is that active trading, whether attempting to exploit price patterns or public information, is not likely to generate abnormal returns. In other words, portfolio managers cannot beat the market on a consistent basis, so therefore passive portfolio management should outperform active portfolio management. Researchers have observed that mutual funds do not, on average, outperform the market on a risk-adjusted basis. Okay, So mutual funds perform, on average, similar to the market before considering fees and expenses and perform worse than the market, on average, once the fees and expenses are considered. Even if a mutual fund is not actively managed, there are costs to managing these funds, which reduces net returns. So what good are portfolio managers? Well, I put this in bold, and this is a good little... Um, summary to this section is that the role of a portfolio manager is not necessarily to beat the market but rather to establish and manage a portfolio consistent with the portfolio's objectives with appropriate diversification and asset allocation while taking into consideration the risk preferences and tax situation of the investor. So we'll just finish this LOS with one last practice question. Which of the following inferences concerning market efficiency is most accurate? Exploitable over and under reactions often occur in efficient markets. Market pricing anomalies and behavioral biases are contrary to the existence of market efficiency. 
Or C, if a market is semi-strong form efficient, neither technicians nor fundamental analysts can expect to consistently earn abnormal returns. Okay, this uh, question is including a little bit of information about market anomalies and behavioral biases, which we're going to see in uh, the next couple LOSs. Nevertheless, I put it in here uh, because if we're looking at uh, uh, the inference that's concerning market efficiency is most accurate, it was C, and that's with regards to the LOS that we've just been talking about. If a market is semi-strong form efficient, neither technicians nor fundamental analysts can expect to consistently earn abnormal returns. Uh, um, if a security markets are semi-strong form efficient, active trading to exploit price patterns or public information is not likely to generate abnormal returns. Thus, both the technical and fundamental analysis become futile exercises. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.